Monday motivation. Start your week off flying high. Monday motivation. It's your time to rise and shine. Good morning, guys. This is Rebecca Flott with Monday Motivation. Today is me and you. And today I want to talk to you about what is in your hands. Uh, I was uh, doing a drive yesterday and uh, this thing came. I was listening to some uh, CD and the title of the CD was What's in Your Hands? And I thought to myself, isn't this just such a powerful talk that we can talk with our listeners and encourage them in this beautiful Monday to tell them that they already got what they need to succeed. You already got the voice, the words, the things inside of you. It's already there for you to share. Okay, so those questions come to us all the time, which is, what are the best years of your life? What is the hardest decision you have made? What are the most important things in your life? What do you consider to be the strong character traits? Do you believe that people can change? What are the most proud moments of your life? What do you hope to be remembered for? So those questions, they come to us. I'm not going to say every day, but sometimes. Sometimes you're wondering what's going to happen to you. So there is a quote, I don't know if you guys ever heard that, that um, people talk about, you know, that they fear about the time that takes to accomplish something because, you know, their lives are so busy. You guys, you know, just don't have the time. You know, if you let your fear just crumbling and paralyze you, you are not going to do anything. But... You know, if you understand that you will be afraid, and but you do it anyway, you show up anyway, that's when magic start happen. Things start really rolling out. And when you just say, well, it's imperfect, correct, like this is my authentic me, but you just let it roll, you'll see something surprisingly amazing coming out. And I think this is the thing that, most of the people don't do things because they don't feel that they have the enough mastering of something. And of course, you have to master something. You have to work in your craft, you know. Let, let me put it this way. As an artist, I have to train my brain to, my, to exercise the ability to paint, right? The same way is with your gifts. You have to do, you have to put the the work in it. But the thing is, if you wait for the perfect moment, which means this is going to be absolutely perfect, silence, the light's going to shine on me, and that's the moment where I'm going to do something about it, then you're going to be waiting and waiting and waiting. And that moment really is not going to come. And, uh, you know, it's not really going to come and, and be like showing up every time. But if you say, I'm going to get up and I'm going to do anyway, and I'm going to put content and this is who I am. And if there's anyone out there that connects to this message, they will find you. Okay. So the time is going to pass anyway. Why don't you just do what you have to do, accomplish what you have to accomplish and put the fear on, put that fear aside if you think it's going to take time to accomplish, the time is going to happen anyway. So just go ahead and do it and use the time the best possible way. Start looking for ways to help people. I think in every business, what I have, been, what I have learned as an entrepreneur, that in every business, you're asking the questions, who do I am helping? How am I helping? You know, I had a really good story about this weekend we were able to go and uh sell our screen art to a vintage show name. Uh the vintage show name is Simply Vintage Market. And uh it's really funny because every time I go to those shows, it's always that um connecting 
you know, the art with the people. And it's really funny because you're like, oh my gosh, it's really amazing to watch how the art connects. And this uh, wonderful lady, I think she was in her 80s, she came to me and she said, she whispered in my ears, which was just so sweet. And she said, thank you for doing what you do. Thank you for doing this art. And then she teared up and she said, I'm going to treasure this forever. And uh, that was the moment that I just realized, well, moments like that is what makes the whole hustle and working so late hours worth it. When you actually can help somebody, touch somebody and cope, right? This other amazing lady stopped by and said, hey, I saw this piece of art I want to buy. Do you mind to just put my the name of my son the date that he was born and when he passed away. And also I just know that a lot of the art pieces that we make, it does connect to a lot of lost, you know, and, and sometimes people want to hold into something tangible and the art does that to them. So you ask that question, what is it that, what is that you do that is, can tangible help people to do and to face this life in a better, better way, right? Um, I think that when I started doing this, you know, podcast used to be the, you know, live videos. And I looked like with my hair up and it was absolutely funniest. And I remember that watching who was uh, live, who was listening to the you know, money motivation videos, and uh, I see one or maybe two, or maybe there was no one there. But I know that there will be an audio, there will be someone there at some point that would need the message that I had to share, and I had to do it anyway. I had to just go ahead and show up and be there, and the people will find it. And it was funny because months will, will, will go through and people will meet, you know, will meet someone random, some places and somebody will say, you know, you shared that message, that Monday motivation, and it really helped me and to get through that day. And that's what it's about. It's about to just keep moving forward and sharing the message and believe it at some point who needs to hear will be there for that message. All right, guys. So um, I wanted to share, continue talking about what is in your hands is because there's, um, when we wanted to just, there's two different things about what is in your hand, what is in your heart. Sometimes the things in your heart is always bigger than what is in your hands. And you'll see, and you say, wow, I actually don't have anything in my hands. And that is such a lie. You know, you do have things in your hands. You just have to work it out. You know, it's almost like, I don't know if you guys ever heard that the quotes that says it's, you know, it's not the tennis shoes. It's what you do with the tennis shoes. It's not the pencil. It's actually what you do with the pencil, you know? So what is in your hands? What do you have? That's really special because, even if we, even when you feel like I don't really have a lot, you still do. You have creativity. You have things that you can do, and you can ask for help, and you can and you can face the day. So, um, one thing about what is in your hands that I want to share with you guys is about social media. That's a big deal. When you look at social media and you're scrolling down Instagram or Facebook and you see everyone pretty much conquer things and beautiful and perfect images, you know, and you think, I don't have what those people do. I don't have what takes. I don't have that man in my life or whatever it is. I just want to tell you guys, take a break when your heart starts feeling a little emotional or even when you see people like... Uh, saying, oh, girls night out, and you're feeling like, I don't have any friends. This hurts me so much. You know, when you feel like that, I just want to share share this with you really quick, is 
take a break for so, from social media. Give yourself rest. Give your soul some rest because comparison really doesn't make you grow. You know, it doesn't make you look what is in your hands because you are trying to figure out what other people have in their hands and you want what they have in their hands to then you, you then for you to qualify your, yourself to do something incredible. No, no. Stop that and say, Laura, you know, what is in my hands for me to do today, this, this Monday? What do I have in my hands? You know, even if you have... Absolutely, like, you know, there's a story of the mustard seed that says, if you have faith like a mustard seed, you can move mountains. If you have a mustard seed in your hands, you can move mountains if you believe, right? So I just want to just encourage you to go ahead and go to places like, go look at things that encourages you and makes you grow. And go look at, uh, at like, go look at uh, stories of people that conquer things, and don't look at this uh, um, social media where everything is just so harsh sometimes to your soul. So give your soul some rest. So comparison, throw away comparison is the word. You have to do it. You have to do it. All right. So keep moving forward here. Go where your feet, go where you feel most alive. And uh, I want to talk a little bit about um, people, right? Um, sometimes we really ha have high expectations on people and how they are going to celebrate us and how they're going to do things. And it's very important that you just... Observe the people around you and observe how much they are letting you grow and what aspect they are making you grow, right? And if you feel like the season is over, then let them go. But if you feel like, if you, feel like you want to grow and you want to plant a seed and some people that you, you, you feel inspired by, that you think you admire them, then go after, you know, go after them. And uh, it's it's so hard because a lot of people says, I would never come to a person said, I would like to be your friend. But I did that a few times in my life and I do not regret when I was able to voice it what I wanted and say, hey, I, I would like to get to know you. I would like to be your friend. And uh, voice the things that you want. Make it clear. Right, write it down. Um, the things that that we that I want to say is, it's so important that you are faithful. That be faithful. What is in your hands, because the things that it is out in your hearts, which is your callings, they're gonna line up together. So if you keep going and doing what is in your hands, your calling and your purpose will line up to what is in your heart. So if you just live a life just thinking about what is in your heart and do nothing practical to what is in your hands, things will not happen. You'll be planting the same seed and reaping the same fruit. But if you just keep planting and planting the things that is in your hands but is connecting to your heart, guess what? You will see some harvest coming out of that. And I want to tell you this, guys. When you have no one believing in you, no one telling you you can do this, you can accomplish this, I am here to tell you, you can do this, you can accomplish it, this, and you are stronger than what you think. And the lack of resources that you think you might have might be the biggest breakthrough of your life. I'm about to face it, the biggest breakthrough of my life. And looking at this, It's crazy to think about it that came from my lack of resources. I struggle so very much to buy art materials. I struggle so very much to be able to afford Canvas that I needed to come up with something different, which is the screen art. 
And now having the screen art going where it go, where it's about to go, it's unbelievable. And this is not just because I'm special, even though I believe that. <laughs> no, it's because I put the work every day. I got up and I did not wait for anyone to motivate myself. I wanted to motivate myself because I believe that it's this one life and I needed to make it work. So whatever you are facing, believe that your life is worth it, that you have something to share, you have a gift that you give, that only you can do it. And your own lack of resources can be the results of an incredible creative product that you create. I want you to have an incredible Monday this Monday. Why? Because it's not only how you feel on the inside but it's how you allow your mind to think. I want you to think, okay? If you're feeling like, oh my gosh, this is such, I'm tired and I have so much things to do and it's absolutely, uh, the list, it's unending. Just give yourself some grace. Take a deep breath. I can do this. I'm going to face this Monday. It's going to be great. You're not alone, guys. Thank you. Thank you.
cicatrizes sentidos.